guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are gonna be back to work on sam cracks ferrari 599 now as you guys know this car hasn't been on the channel for quite some time and that is because we were waiting on some custom parts to be built for this car as you guys know these cars weren't very popular they only sold about 900 of them or i think they made 900 of them and i don't think that much of them went to the united states so parts were very hard to get for this car for instance we had to get the fender and the rear bumper all the way from the uk because there was just no examples available in the United States that were cheap. I mean, I think the only ones on eBay are like four to five thousand dollars. And honestly, it doesn't really make sense to pay so much for parts. You might as well just go ahead and buy a nice clean title Ferrari 599 if you were gonna just buy everything from the dealer, stuff like that, because these parts are insanely ridiculous. Steering rack for this car from the dealer, $25,000, which is insane. That's almost as much as a used engine is worth for this car. But we did get a new custom oil cooler for this car built. We have the AC condenser, and then we also went ahead and got a radiator. So we could potentially get this car started in today's episode. We will have to take off the intake manifold and actually fix all the wires under there. We did get all the gaskets and it's actually pretty simple. You can see you just basically unbolt all this, pop this side off, unbolt all that, pop that side off, and then just replace the gaskets when you're done soldering up all the wires. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this car inside and show you guys all the parts that we have for this car. here is the oil cooler for the ferrari 599 and this is a custom oil cooler built by bell intercoolers we basically shipped off our unit they made drawings of it and they custom fabbed it up which is pretty crazy to think they just took an old one redid everything on it made it 100 percent brand new they also had to cnc mill these end pieces right here because we couldn't get them off the original one because the original one uses weight thinner aluminum so this is a little bit thicker so it's gonna be a little bit stronger and then they also pressure tested our lines. So basically this thing is almost ready to install. Then we have our radiator right here. And look at the difference between welds on this radiator. And then look at the welds on the oil cooler. They just did such a better job. This one is a little cheap radiator off eBay. But honestly, I think it's gonna do the job well and it's gonna be good. And it was way cheaper than buying a new one from the dealer. But before we can install the radiator or the oil cooler, we do need to address the fan shroud. As you can see, it's super rusty right there because it's been sitting for so long. And there's also some pretty serious damage. You can see it kind of ripped that. So we're gonna have to re-weld that, sand everything down and get this thing painted up. And the oil cooler actually bolts on right here. So we gotta straighten all this out. So let's go ahead and disassemble this shroud, get the fans off and glad we the fans were not damaged. But let's go ahead and strip this thing down and get it rebuilt.
So the fan shroud is fully rebuilt. We went ahead and threw a nice coat of paint on it, welded up the little tab that was cracked, and now it's good to go. Now, while the fan shroud is actually drying, we're actually gonna start working on the Ferrari. Now, one of the most important things we need to do on this car is actually fix all of the ripped wires inside the intake manifold. As you guys remember, there was like a squirrel in there or something like that. I have no idea what was in there. But check that out. There is a couple of ripped wires in there. So what we're gonna have to do right now is actually take off the entire intake manifold, which there's a lot of bolts. I think you have to take it out in two parts. Basically just unbolt all these, take the top half off, take both top halves off, and then you can actually get access to all the bolts that are down there. So it's pretty complicated, but it's gonna be pretty fun working on a V12 engine. And then once we get all these wires nice and fixed up, we can put the fan shroud back together, put the radiator on here, fill it up with some oil and some coolant and see if this thing will crank right up. So let's go ahead and get started on this wiring repair. Let's go ahead and remove the air boxes and basically unplug everything associated with them. I don't think we'll take off the throttle bodies. I think we can just unplug them and move them over to the side, but let's get straight to work. This is gonna be kind of fun because I've never worked on a Ferrari V12, but it should be pretty simple, no? So we got everything nice and removed. I also went ahead and took off the hood and also that cowl piece right there so we can get to the bolts in the back. I'm thinking you just unloosen these bolts right here for 10 millimeters and hopefully it will just slide over. I don't think there's anything under here. Maybe there is. I might have to go watch a YouTube video and see exactly how to take off these plenums because either there's something under there or this is just for looks right here, which it does look really cool. And I gotta say, these little connectors right here are terrible. They should have just used the screw connectors because I guess over time the rubber erodes and then everything becomes super loose. So we'll probably just replace all those with the uh, screw together clamps. But anyways, let's go ahead and take off both of these plenums. So check it out, we got the intake plenums off and it comes apart like a Lego set. Basically you take off the side pieces, then you take off the fuel rails and then these pieces are all separate. They're all individual units, but we got all that out and check it out. There's four wires that are ripped. These two wires right here are for the first fuel injector and then this one on the other side. And I guess either a rat, a snail, or a squirrel was in here just chewing up these wires. They tasted, they're like, oh, we don't like this Italian cheese. And that's pretty much all they tasted right here, just these two. They didn't go any further. We're definitely gonna get the bore scope out and check all the wires in the back. But if everything's good, we won't really have to mess with anything back there because it just becomes a big old jungle of wires and vacuum lines. And I don't really wanna get too deep into this car because honestly, it's the first time ever working on a Ferrari and it is pretty sketchy, especially right here. Definitely have to cover up these valves, make sure nothing falls in there. But I think we're gonna go ahead and think of a solution on how to fix these wires. So 
So check it out, we got the wires nice and soldered up. We soldered them, then we put some heat shrink tubing on all the wires to protect them. And I gotta say, it looks really good. I also replaced the conduit with new conduit off the car. And then we did a little thorough inspection. There's no other ripped wires. I guess those were just the two front ones right here. They just chewed them up right here and that was it. They didn't go any further, which is good. Now what we need to do is go ahead and clean up this entire area right here and reassemble the whole intake manifold. Then we can start working on the radiators. We'll probably give all this a nice wash before we put all the radiators in and hopefully this thing will fire right up. So we got the engine reassembled and I can officially say I am a Ferrari mechanic. Everything went back together nicely. We also replaced the old crush clamps with these nice little bolted on clamps. Look at that, those are actually for fuel lines, so they should hold those vacuum lines pretty tight. Now the next step, what we need to do is go ahead and give this area a nice clean so we can get ready for our new coolers. And then all we gotta do is install the radiators, the oil cooler, and everything goes onto this shroud as one unit, and then it slides up in there and bolts on. So let's get everything nice and clean on the car, and then we can start reassembling the radiators. check it out we gave everything a nice wash and then i went ahead and put the steering rack on i also put all the lines for the ac back together and man i gotta say everything came together nicely we got the ac little thing right here we had to replace it and we got all that back into its original spot and it's pretty crazy after being apart so long i was able to just put everything back together exactly how it came apart everything is looking good all the clips all the bolts and i do really love how ferrari uses these little uh, clamps right here that bolt on instead of clips with plastic that can break over time everything is back together up here in the front now it's time to go ahead and reassemble the entire cooling system and get it under here so we can get this car running so we got the fan shroud all nice and painted it's nice and dry now it's time to go ahead and reinstall the fans we're also going to bolt on the oil cooler bolt on the radiator the condenser and the power steering cooler onto this one fan shroud and then we can slap this thing under there and hopefully uh put some oil in it and get it running <laughs> installed now it's time to go ahead and drain out all the old oil there's a drain plug right here on the sump pump and then there's another one right here on the engine so let's go ahead and drain it we'll fill it up with some oil and fire the sucker up
ahead and filled this thing up with oil and man i gotta say this engine bay is looking good i mean basically everything on this car is back in its original spot i also went ahead and put the air box back on alongside this little air vent that goes down there so pretty much this thing is ready to start and hopefully it starts it has been sitting for a while so i think the battery is dead so we're gonna grab our fancy jumper box and we're gonna try to start this thing up hopefully it does we got a new oil cooler on there we got everything set up and everything plugged up bolted up and man this is the moment of truth let's go ahead and pop this sucker on pop this in there like that all right got six volts we'll ride that real quick and it's making noise all righty let's see what happens and we do have a lot of lights on in the dash hold the brake start button what the heck doesn't do anything that's weird. Maybe this? Nothing. There does seem to be a line right here. I think that's for the gear shifter. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be in neutral whenever you start these cars. I know my McLaren won't start in gear. Let's see, it won't go into neutral. You're supposed to pull both paddles and it Oh, this car just keeps getting better and better every single day. Now another thing to worry about. But I don't know. Maybe it's something small. Maybe it's something big. This booster will turn off automatically if you don't use it. That is so weird. I really wanted to hear this thing start. I pushed both paddles and everything and it's still... Man, this sucks. Ah, all that work. For that right there. I guess we're gonna have to do some diagnostics on this Ferrari. I'm not sure what to do with it, but I'm a little burnt out with it because we already did so much work. I mean, the car is almost done. Basically, all you have to do is get this thing painted, put the body panels on, and you're good to go. I mean, it has steering, it has all the suspension, got the oil cooler on, the radiator, the fans. The only thing missing here is a power steering cooler and the AC condenser. And the front end of this car is pretty much complete. So guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. We got a lot of work done on this Ferrari. And honestly, we're going to have to do a lot of diagnostics and see exactly what's going on with this car. Because I mean, this thing hasn't been started in over two years. So maybe it's something simple. Maybe it's something big. But I think we're going to hold off on that maybe over the weekend. And then check it out. We've got the Ferrari F430. We are waiting on some parts for this car. We went ahead and ordered the frame pieces from Fur Parts. Both of those frame pieces, we ordered them. And they should be here probably next week sometime so we can get this sucker all welded up nicely and this thing's coming along too and if we come outside we did actually do something cool we bought a 2020 mustang gt for only three thousand bucks we'll get into that in a little bit the trimmer is back from paint everything's painted up on the truck and that truck should be done but if y'all enjoyed today's video go ahead and hit that like button also follow us on instagram at vtune thanks for watching